Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. You're watching News 6 at 5. A launch tonight to the moon has a special guest in attendance. Back in 1972, Charlie Duke and Orlando's astronaut John Young were the second to last crew to explore the lunar surface. So a half century later and almost 90 years old, Duke is back at the Kennedy Space Center as a special advisor to one of the companies riding on tonight's mission. The legendary astronaut talks to News 6's James Sparvero about America's return to the moon. It's not every day you get to meet a moonwalker. Charlie Duke is one of just four Apollo astronauts who landed on the moon who are still alive. Wow, what a place. What a view, isn't it, John? It's absolutely unreal. He's 89 now, and I can't wait to ask him about his excitement for working on this new moon program. Mr. Duke, my name's James. I'm a local reporter at Channel 6. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Thanks for speaking with us today. I wish the Artemis uh, well, and uh, it's about time we got back. In more than 50 years since your landing, could you ever have imagined back then that you'd be part of this moon program? Uh, no, we were on the moon when shuttle had been approved. That lasted uh, 30 years or so, and then the uh, space station. So all the money was involved in those two programs, and we never had a chance to really get going back to the moon. And since Charlie's day, no American spacecraft has landed on the moon upright and intact. A year ago, intuitive machines touched down on the lunar surface, but then its lander tipped over. As this teleconference that's about to get started will tell us, the company will try again with a new lander built to scout the moon's south pole and look for water before astronauts are supposed to go there during the Artemis III mission. We're looking to show that we can find what resources already exist on the moon for a sustained human presence and enact the lessons learned from the Apollo era to ensure safety and also to advance our scientific discoveries and technological innovation. NASA says launch time tonight is at 7.16 on this SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, and then the landing attempt will be next Thursday. Before then, this Sunday, another private lander full of experiments to study the moon hopes to stick the landing. That's the Blue Ghost spacecraft from Firefly Aerospace, which launched here a month ago. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.